Hello, comic fans and all alike. Welcome to Apex Comics. Got a couple of packages I'd like to open. So let's go ahead and start, shall we? This is from Wasco Rose, Coco, Florida. Wasco Rose. Wasco Rose. Sounds like a blues singer. Must be uh, one of those blues singer guys. Plays guitar, jams. Wasco Blue. Wasco. 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 Well, he's a comic dealer. <laughs> it could be a blues singer on guitars. Let's see what Roscoe. What did I get from Roscoe? I got a lot of packages so far. I've got enough videos for over a week. So I'm gonna let the that kind of expand. Let's see how it goes from Roscoe Road. I have a good uh, indication that I have. Hey, I think you guys might like this. If you're a uh, a really old Marvel fan, or you know, you have to like Fantastic Four. Love the Jim and I mailers, those look good. Love it, love it, love it. You will see. Be very happy to know that this is <clears throat> this is a package. I hope I don't rip it open and damage. <laughs> Yeah, well, look at that beautiful plethora of a uh, human torch. First issue, number one. One of these, this is a good condition issue. Uh, I think a, a top notch human torch. Uh, I think, was it? Oh gosh, very fine to near mint. It's going for like 75 bucks or more. And I got three of these for like 18. This is like a, this may be a VG, so I find copy. This is number one, Human Torch versus Human Torch. And you got Human Torch number three. This is a reprint of uh, Strange Tales, Human Torch. I remember, recognize this cover. It's redrawn by, uh, I think, John Romita. This is also drawn by John Romita also. Talking me the senior, of course. Alright, guys, the epic human torch versus Submariner. This could be the present day battle or the Golden Age battle. So it looks more like it could be well present day as in what? The 60s at that time? Alright. But uh I'm intrigued about the first issue. We'll carefully reveal what's going on with this. Actually, uh, well, page is a bit off white, but it's good. Oh, so you got the uh, Human Torch, Larry Lever. I think this is the, of course, the Johnny Storm Human Torch here. Somehow he meets, I think he meets up with. Well, oh, heck, I don't know. Uh, it's like short stories of. Sky Storm Human Torch. I think that could be. I think they have a second. We got beautiful Kirby art, of course. Hey, great stuff, man. Oh, yes, you have. Oh, yeah, the original Jim Hammond Human Torch. The Android Human Torch. Which is. Oh, the Human Torch. There you go. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Ah, it's from the 40s, of course. Let's see a bit of the style. There you have it. Let's open up the other package. Yes. Yes, indeed, 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 do. Uh, this is from uh, Michael Redman from Indiana, Bloomington, Indiana. Thanks, I bought something from. I forgot what I bought. Figure it out. Figure it out. Oh, 
good old eBay. If you're selling eBay, make sure you update your uh, eBay account. I mean, some uh, emails going on. Make sure they're, you know, they're updated. They're not, no, they're no longer using PayPal. You're using your credit or bank account. Make sure it's safe. All right, very important. Maybe they've uh, signed up to do. Oh, back. Oh, hey, beautiful. Uh, yes, I got the uh, ash can of a uh, reprint of uh, Barry Windsor Smith's X Men issue 53. This is the nice, beautiful reprint of that. Oh, it's from somewhere else. Yes, it's where they're. Somewhere else, okay. That's nice to know that there's somewhere else. Here you go. It's a nice mini comic, Extremely Gavinza. Ain't it cute? Reprint of that story, Blastar. This is actually Barry Smith's influenced by Jack Kirby. You can tell that he does a good job. I like, it. I like his early art, it's really cool. It's like he would be a Kirby apprentice if he were working for Kirby. He would, he would pass for one. But of course, he brought his style. Um, it flourished within the early Conan uh, issues, volume one. But yeah, it's, I happen to like it. I like it a lot of his early work. It's like, yes, he. Was trained in the Jack Kirby studio, which he was not. He was a synthesis. I think uh, BWS did 20 page Cole story before he did the uh, Conan story. I think the guy who used to own uh, CrossGen, he bought those 20 pages from Barry Smith, Barry Windsor Smith, and he displayed them. Through the, the studio across the the library lobby area, and I think I saw a video on that one time. This is really cool. Got a complete X Men story. Barry Winter Smith. This is from 1988. All right, so please like and subscribe. Ring bell for notifications. And yes, I'll have more videos coming up. Sir Pal Apex Comics. Have a splendid day. Ciao for now.